hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day i hope you all are doing well in today's video we're going to be cleaning and organizing this closet here that's right by my front door please don't judge me this is my little decor closet that i have here so i really want to get in here and remove everything redo those shelves and i'm also going to organize all of this stuff as you can see here it is a hot mess i just have a mod podge of all kinds of things that's kind of thrown into this closet so it's been on my list for a while to get in here and just get everything cleaned out and organized so this is one of two spaces in my home where i store some of my home decor you guys have been asking me so many times where do i store all of my home decor well this is one of my spaces where i store some of my things now all of my seasonal decor like christmas and fall i usually store that stuff up in the attic or out in the garage but this closet is usually all of my little accessories that i use to decorate on a regular basis plus it's also a mix mix match of all kinds of other stuff that's down here at the bottom of this closet as well but nonetheless we're going to get it all cleared out and we're going to actually get it all organized and uh set up all nice and neat So before we continue on with cleaning out our closet here, I want to thank today's sponsor, Good Picks. So Good Picks makes laundry baskets or laundry hampers. They have several different laundry hampers and a variety of different sizes and styles and colors. So they sent me out their tall, this is a 60, 66 inch large tall baby hamper. And I'm going to use it to store my extra throw blankets. But as you can see here, it holds a large amount of laundry. Um, it's not only made of nice rotan and cotton but it also has a beautiful nice aesthetic to it as well i'm also showing you here that you can use it to store extra throw bit pillows and you can also use it to store your kids toys as well as your clothes and all of that too these i love using these laundry baskets around my house because they are so versatile i can use them to store like i said a different variety of things the handles on these baskets are super strong they're made a really good high quality and then i love how deep and tall the basket is so it's able to hold a lot of clothes or a lot of um material that you would need to put in here so yeah so this will i got mine in a color white to kind of match my neutral aesthetics but they do come in different like i said other colors and other sizes as well so i'll leave all of good picks information down in the description box below good pick is also giving my subscribers 20 percent off of your order so make sure you use my discount code trina20 to save 20 percent off your order i'll have everything linked down in the description box below and thank you to good pick for sponsoring today's video okay you guys so now we're going to continue on with removing everything out of this closet so what i did was i went ahead and took everything out that's um my main goal was taking everything out of this closet and then what i did was i donated a lot of things that i didn't need to goodwill just to kind of pass it on to uh, others that may be in need of some of this stuff so i like i have like all kinds of stuff in here that really don't belong in here as well like you just i just had some curtain rods there and i just have like some gardening stuff in there as well so it's just really needed to be cleaned out and really need to be organized so my goal was on this day was to just empty out the closet that way um, we can go in and redo the shelves and i also need to paint this closet as well that way it'll be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and a little bit more organized if you're new here welcome my name is trina i love to do a lot of home decorating on my channel also do some cleaning and organization on my channel as well so if you're interested in all of that i would love to have you stay and subscribe and become part of our decorating family here and if you're all a, if you are a returning subscriber then hey y'all welcome back to the channel thank y'all for stopping by and watching another video I'm finally making headway here as you can see now that I actually can see the floor that I actually hit was able to get everything cleared out at least on the bottom of the floor and then now I'm going to try to um, remove everything off of these shelves.
One thing I dislike about my house is that we are short on, we lack storage in this space. So we don't have a lot of space in here. So I don't usually store a lot of things that I don't need, even though this closet is a mess. This is only one space that I actually have all of my decor because I don't have a separate storage unit anywhere that I store things. I only store it here. And then whatever little seasonal stuff I do have in my attic, I store that, but I try not to put anything too much in the garage because my husband do use that space as his man cave so most of my home decor is pretty much stored into this little small closet here so when you have a small space and you're lacking storage you have to kind of get creative as best way you can so we don't use this closet at all because we for those of you who don't know we do live in texas it's hot pretty much all year so we don't even own coats so we just use this i just took it upon myself just to use this as my storage for all of my home decor instead of just having it go to waste so yeah you just have to get real creative um, with your spaces and try to organize your home the best way you can and store your stuff the best way you can um, with the space that you're given so this is the closet all cleaned out and this is what it was looking like as you can see we already had some shelves in there that we put up years ago but um my husband wants to redo the shelves and make a few more shelves so i can put a little bit extra decor i don't know why i have that one wallpaper that's back there just that, just that one panel of wallpaper i'm going to remove that and remove those track um those track poles or whatever that is on that wall and just get everything uh reshelved and painted and everything now some of these shelves in here they're there but they're not secured down so he also is going to fix that as well so that little closet held a lot of home decor as you can see in that previous clip that is all the home decor that i removed out like i said i did go ahead and purge a lot of things and things that i haven't used or decorated with in a while i ended up getting rid of it getting rid of it and passing along to somebody else so now i'm just going ahead and removing these shelves so that we can go ahead and fix them and then remove all that wallpaper and everything so we can get this closet painted. coming up like the day before you're like a stone on my pillow i don't make a sound when i shut the door you don't have to wake up yet we can spend all day in bed i'll put the tv in the room we'll have a net Marathon, Kenny G saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone. Yeah. Shut the lights, go in for a red. We can spend all day in bed. I get the wine and the corkscrew. Don't have to do one single thing. You don't know how much I want you. Just looking at you makes my whole world spin. You don't have to wait. 
Your favorite music on all the way baritone. Shut the lights, go in for a so now that everything is all removed out of the out of the closet, I'm gonna go ahead and patch up all of these little holes. So this is the next day. So this is um, my husband. He went ahead and started adding in some more shelves. And then the shelves are going to kind of have to be, are going to be in an L shape. So he still needs to go ahead and add in shelving on that left side as well. So yeah, but it's coming along really nicely. This project actually took me over a week to get it completed because with work and dealing with the kids and everything, it just took me a while to go ahead and get everything all done. So yeah, so you will see me change outfits quite a few times in this video because it did take over a week to get all this stuff um, finished up, repainted, and then get everything back in there and organized. So now I'm just taking some caulk and I'm just going ahead and caulking all of the any uh, holes that the wood may have or any gaps that the wood may have in there before we go ahead and start painting. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. And I, I really wanna know so I did go ahead and paint everything off camera just so the video won't be too long, but this is a finished product. I absolutely love how everything has turned out. Everything is just so bright and clean and uh, just looks a whole lot better. The shelves are a whole lot sturdier and then I actually have a little bit more storage space to actually store everything. So yeah, I'm so excited about how everything has turned out. And like I said, I did go ahead and purge a lot of my decor in the earlier clips. So this is what I have left is these vases here. Most of these are like vases and little accessory pieces and things like that. I still need to find a spot to put all of my florals because those florals are just a pain in the butt to store. So for now, I'm going to put those out in my office until I can figure out where I'm going to store those. I did pick up these little battery operated lights or LED lights from Amazon. Um, they are pretty bright, not as bright as I wanted it to be. And then I don't like the fact that the string is actually showing. So I might end up changing those out. But nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and add them anyway. I did find these little bins at Target. These were like $10 each and these hold a lot. So I'm going to use these to store all of my pillow covers. I stopped buying a lot of pillows years ago. Most of the time when you see me decorate with pillows on my sofas and things like that, it's usually a pillow cover because I can easily store them. So I have several pillow covers and I'm going to use these bins to store all of it. Then I have these wicker baskets that I got from Target. These are like 13 inches tall. So I have a lot of little pieces of decor that I need to store away, like, you know, little decorative balls or objects or things like that. So I'm going to use these baskets to store that stuff in. And then I also found these little smaller baskets. I think these are like 11 inches um, wide or tall. I think I, these came from Target as well. And I had these extra. So I'm going to use these to store my napkin rings and then my um, napkins into these little baskets. 
So I'm just playing around with the look of the how I want everything styled. So I like the way that looks. And I'm just going to go ahead and get all of this stuff put back in this closet. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, please give my video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel a lot. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. What do you guys are working on this summer? Summer is usually always a slow time here on my channel. I usually, like I said, I love fall and Christmas. Those seasons I usually go hard for, but summer is kind of like my relaxation time where we, you know, we vacationing, we're doing stuff with the kids, and then we also are trying to get everything organized before the fall and the um, Christmas season and all that stuff happens. So I usually try to use this time to go ahead and organize some different areas of my house and also try to purge some of my decor and things like that to get everything all nice and organized. So what projects are you guys working on this summer? Standing in the corner, I see you from across the room. It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing, oh, everybody's singing, oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want. Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love, let me love, baby, let me love you. Just say the word and we can leave this place. I'll take you anywhere you want. Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love, let me love, baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love, let me love, baby, let me love you.
So now I pretty much got 90% of everything already back in the closet. So this is my pillow covers here. I got them color uh, coordinated and these little bins down here. I was able to get three bins down here at the bottom, but I actually have room to put a fourth one. So I just need to go and buy one more bin and then I'll have actually four bins at the bottom that I'll use for um, miscellaneous stuff as well. So this is what the closet is looking like with the lights. Like I said, I do like the lights, but I just don't like that this string is showing on the side. So I'll probably end up changing these for a different set of lights. Um, yeah, but these it actually turned out really nice. I just wanted a little bit of light in here to kind of brighten up the space, but I absolutely love how everything has turned out. I actually uh, have a space on that left, right side of that wall. And I'm going to hang some of my seasonal wreaths up there as well, just to kind of get Get those out of the garage so yeah so i like how everything has turned out you guys i hope this video has brought you guys some cleaning motivation hope it brought you some home decor um inspiration as well as some organization too so i hope it motivates you to tackle some areas in your own space and to uh get your stuff your stuff uh organized as well so yeah so Actually, I love how everything has turned out, y'all. So, yes, it turned out really, really nice. So that is it for today's video you guys i thank you all so so much for watching thank you again to good pick for sponsoring today's video and i'll see you all in my next one bye